All right, fellas, let's see if we can't get this to work. Uh, yesterday, you recall, I put out a video called uh, How to Detect and Beat Spool Pins. And now I've, I found a lock. Uh, I'll show you the face of it. It's a chateau. It's not a quality lock, but it does contain some spools. So I've drawn some lines on the core and the body so you can kind of see where everything is supposed to line up. And hopefully, as we start to get some false sets here, you'll be able to use those as guides to so you can see what it is I'm trying to do. Now I'm going to be trying to work around the camera here. Okay, just apply a little tension. There is spring tension on this core, unlike the one yesterday. So we do have to deal with that, and I can already see that this is going to give us some difficulty. I'm going to turn it sideways. I think you can still see, and I think that way my hand is not going to be in your way. All right, I don't know where the regular pin in this stack is, and, and sometimes uh, there are two pins. And they do that to screw us up. That way we can't just punch one and immediately be in the fault set. So I just kind of jiggle around in there with just light tension until we get ourselves our fault set. And there we go. Now you'll notice we got a pretty good offset on these two indicators. And that tells us that there's probably three spool pins remaining in this stack. So let's see if we can't find those and beat them. Because as I said yesterday, the work is over. Now the fun begins. So now I'm just going to go to the back of the stack, find that fifth pin, and I'm just going to start moving forward, looking for something that's going to give me some feedback. I'm looking for the guy that's raising his hand that says, pick me. And there he is. You can see, barely, you can see that mark moving. As every time I put upward tension, he gives us that counter rotation. So let's go ahead and set him. Release tension with my left finger just a hair. Come on, baby. I don't want to release too much because then we'll lose everything. Okay, well, we must have set more than I thought. That wasn't that wasn't right. Let's do this again, shall we? Try not to set so many during the initial raking. Okay, so let's find where those pins are and get ourselves our fault set. And I'm just very quickly going through looking for the binding pin, and there we go. We again have our fault set. I'm going to the back, just like we did before, looking for the one. And this time it felt like Look like number three. Let me let me just verify that. It always takes less time to check than it does to just set the first one you feel. There we go. We got pin three this time, giving us that counter rotation. If you look at that mark, it's just barely moving. And let's send pin three home, shall we? Release tension just a hair with our left finger. And you notice I'm moving my pick back and forth, rotating. I'm trying to work that pin, trying to work him into that hole. And there we go. We just set him. Okay, let's keep looking. Find the next one. And again, it looks like pin one, maybe. Okay, let's go through the same drill. Get pick positioned. Upward pressure. Release tension a little. It doesn't quite feel right to me. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I think we might have dropped one of the other pins. So maybe we should have stayed with that first example, eh? <laughs> okay, we got our fault set back. Pin three. And he's set. Back of the stack. Start looking again. Because there's at least one more, and it looks like pin number pin number five. And there we go. Alright, fellas, as I said, once you get those regular pins out of your way and you get to those security pins, your life just became a lot easier. This is a, by the way, it's a chateau. 
that Jeff Moss sent to me turned out to be a pretty good training lock. He sent me the key and everything. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I'll probably just pass it on to one of you guys. Made in China. Where else? Anyway, everybody, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe, stay legal, and practice picking these spool pens. There's nothing to it, fellas.